Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries In Other Waters. This is a, uh, a game that recently came to my attention as it came out on Steam the other day. It is a xenobiology, or uh, I guess a, a, a xenofish biology game, where you play as a, uh, well, a xeno-oceanographer, I suppose. You know, an alien marine biologist who's on another planet. Uh, I heard it is atmospheric, I heard it is tactile, I hear it's minimalistic but also uh, interesting. I did receive a code from the developer as well, thank you for that. Fellow traveler, the publisher, thank you for that. Um, let's, let's give it a try here, this is about 15 bucks. And I have not played any of it so far. I hear, one of the things that interests me about this is that I hear the whole game takes place essentially, you play the whole thing through the UI, by which I don't mean that like you're in the menu hitting buttons and stuff like that, but you have like tactile instruments in front of you and, and radar and stuff like that that you use rather than being in like a third person like dive suit or something, you know, something more Subnautica-esque maybe. But apart from that, you know, it seems really interesting, so I'll just let the game waft over me as we play a little bit here and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll learn about it together rather than me trying to explain it because I haven't actually really interacted with it outside of hitting the button I just hit that said new game and starting it up and then saying the word Xeno about 15 times at the start of the video. I've heard good things about this soundtrack as well. Most of the Steam reviews were like, by the way, the soundtrack is fantastic. Congratulations. Hey, Chris Payne, anyone ever call you Crispy? Always thought if my name was Chris and then P is my last name's first initial, I might go by Crispy. And then when people were like, why do they call you Crispy? I'll be like, my name's, you know, Chris Portman or something. Look, here's the thing. It's building a moment. It's doing like a thing where it's supposed to make you introspective or see, and then they take it away from you and you get cut and then they introduce you, you know? We were in the middle of a... Uh, of an annihilation segment right there. But as I, uh, it's illegal for me to go more than five seconds without saying whatever thought pops into my head. As a result, I had to ruin it. There isn't any time left. This is going to be more restrictive than you're used to, but you're resourceful. I'm sorry, Oki, but I can't let them find you. I can't lose everything we've achieved. User disconnected. Does it say Alex is middle? I don't know. I'm not supposed to know yet. All right. So we are the pilot. Hello, is someone there? I love this shade of blue. I can't deny that. This is Dr. Ellery Voss. I urgently need all systems of this suit activating. I've been locked out. And I'm 20 meters below surface here. I say again, this is Dr. Ellery Voss. Can any operator personas on this suit please respond? All right, good. I've responded with the D-pad. Operator, activate all systems. Pilot authorization granted. Yo. You know I'm a sucker for when games give you uh, a UI like this. I love to interact via weird instruments and tactile stuff. This feels a lot like Still There. Or that game that we played, it was probably like close to a year ago where you're in like a, a mech and you're in the deep sea, or you're in like a radioactive wasteland, but you can't see outside of the mech, you have to rely entirely on radar. Anyway, let's uh, power up. The power panel is activating, plenty of juice. Um, oxygen please, that's important. Oxygen panel is up, and rebreather is functioning, I'm off reserve oxygen. Glad to hear it. Okay, utilities available, let's see. Sampling, sample storage, terminal and retrieval seem to be installed. Heading. I'm seeing the heading panel coming online. Excellent. Okay, good. The dive panel is active. Current, current reading of 20 meters. And my scan and topography. Scan and topography readouts coming through now. Looking good. And then we can rotate this. But to what end? You don't seem to know what you're doing. <laughs> you're not an operator, are you? That's, that's uh, affirmative. Then what are you? Why are you installed in this suit? Help me out here. I knew there was something strange about this stuff when I got in, or this suit when I got inside. It looks decades old. Look, we don't have time for this. So whatever program or system you are, I need you to work with me. You seem to respond to voice command, so that's a start. I, we need to head north, okay? 
I'll explain once we get going. But right now, I'm locked out of half the systems of the suit. Someone, somehow, has rewritten the permissions to only respond to internal messaging. That means you. So I'm going to need you to take control. Let's get moving. Take me north into the reef. All right. Please. Active area. So I'm just going to move you north, which is easy to do. The way that you're going to do this is by pressing the B button <laughs> to send out a radar ping. Oh, okay, why? Okay, hold on. We'll figure this out. I'm looking at my systems here. So we got utility panels. Map data with A, nothing there. Link, additional data required. Request retrieval. Don't know what I'm doing. Okay, we're going back to non-instruments. So RT allows us to look a little closer. I would like you to move in the northerly direction. I see ya. You think- Oh, do you have to capture that thing on your... Do I know what I'm doing at all? No. Not at all. I thought maybe we would just point it in this direction. Okay, we're gonna get there. Excuse me, madam. I need some more, uh, I need some more direction. I did say, she did say move north, and I've been trying to move through, like, that channel there. So I'm pointing up, okay? Oh, right stick. Yo, okay, we've scanned something with right stick. Southern gully. Steep rock walls rise up towards the surface on either side. The floor is layered with pale sand. And the A button? Vector clear? Ladies and gentlemen. We're moving. Okay, the time, seven minutes. Good. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Let's keep heading north. Okay, so just send out a radar ping. We found one. Use the right stick. Scan it. Narrow pass. A boulder fills this passage, blocking out the warm light of Glee's 667 CC's three stars. Is the vector clear? Vector clear. Let's move. You love to see it. Okay. Uh, take another radar ping. I must be a glutton for punishment. Because I love playing these games that have low, le low levels of tutorialization. And then feeling the eureka moment when you knock it out. When you actually manage to accomplish something very mundane. It's beautiful. Here the passage opens out back into the dappled light of the reef shadows. Okay. Can I get a vector on that one please? Vector clear. Okay. Send it. So far so good. Send out another radar ping. Until they tell me otherwise... This is how we're going to do this. The softly flowing water is filled with the glittering particles of organic matter. Signs of rich and thriving life all around. You know, we probably do have limited, like, battery life. And uh, it, it would be perhaps advisable to uh, be a little bit more sensible with our speed here. Look in the water. Are those spores? And those stalks to the west, they look like fungi. This is unbelievable. Actual alien life. How could Mine have kept this place a secret? I saw her notes at the base when I landed and some telltale signs on approach, but here it is. The first extraterrestrial life humanity has ever discovered. I can't believe it. Well, don't forget, I also discovered it. Okay, let's scan. Bed of stalks. Fungal creature made up of a series of stalks and plates attached to the rock. Color ranges from one color to another color. Beds of these creatures coat the pale rocks. Are these plants or animals? They're unlike any earth coral or sponge. Protected by the ridges. Sorry, this this place, this planet needs to be studied. Keep scanning and I'll keep notes. Okay, protected by the ridges from the strong northern currents. This could be a safe haven for younger, softer species. And bed of stalks. Okay, we're, we're, we're gathering a lot of data. Let's move forward, please. Can I get a, a vector clear on that one? Thank you. Vector is clear. You're good to go. In the pipe, five by five. What were those creatures? They were hidden among the stalks. Quickly, try to get a scan. Oh. Quickly, 
Ping first. Ping and then scale. Oh, okay, I see. I see what you're looking for here. I believe I have failed you. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. Come on, come on, come on. We're so close. They're such lively creatures and so colorful, too. I'll start logging my observations. Yo, 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 I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get... I gotcha. <laughs> Agile creature. These creatures appear to maneuver with a series of siphon jets concealed beneath their folded mantles. They are incredibly fast. Okay. A stalk patch. Among these spore-clogged stalks are piles of small stones. Could a creature have gathered them here, or just the currents? Why don't you go ahead and uh, give me a confirmed vector on that one? Thank you. It's a sample candidate as well. That's great news. I'm waiting when they drop the other shoe, and they go like, by the way, it's a horror game. These stocks are covered in spores of all sizes. Perhaps we can sample one of the larger ones? Okay, quick radar ping. Is that what you're looking for? I'm seeing spores exiting and entering the slits on the surfaces of the stalk. Something is being exchanged. Silent clearing. What is it that dictates the reef's growth pattern? Sunlight, the flow of water, whatever it is, it must be absent here. And... Spore flow. Spores from the main part of the reef are brought into the southern nurseries here by a steady current. Let's go there, because it sounds... Oh, we don't have a clear vector. There's, there's your tutorialization. We don't have a clear vector. But we do have a clear vector here. Don't we? We don't? Hmm. She was probably saying something, and I wasn't reading. Like, what is... Okay, B? Yeah, then Y. It points us in a direction, but we can't get there. There's no vector. Oh, sampling available. Okay, hold on. We gotta rotate this until we can capture the sample. He's done it! Do we do anything with it after that? Pick it up with A? Okay. I, th I thought, like, is there is, is there anything else? Hold on, hold on. Like, we gotta, I'm sure we gotta make this whole thing light up. I can't hit A to take it, though. So we must be missing something. What do you want from me here? Oh, don't zoom out, for the love of God. Are these two different ones? No, it's definitely the same one. Oh, we hit up and down to close. Oh, so like up and down, it like closes the jaws of life on it or something. We've got one. Biological samples are vital tools for analyzing and understanding creatures. It's a stalk spore containing a complex cocktail of minerals and compounds. That's cool. How about you test it out? Drag it over the central compass. Okay. He's done it. Great. That's working as it should. <clears throat> Look, those creatures are coming for the spores. Why these ones in particular, I wonder? Yo, is it Pokemon Snap? We deploy the spores and then we sample the creatures that uh, swim by to, to, re to, to eat them? Like when you throw an apple and a Snorlax is uh, woken up? What do you think? Could the spores be a way of communicating? Sure, let's say yes. It isn't that strange. Fungi on Earth form networks of exchange. Maybe these stocks do the same. Anyway, sorry. I'm not sure why I... Let's keep moving. Well, I think I know why. <clears throat> it's alien life, lady! You don't have to apologize for being so, uh, invested. Okay, please go back to your mainframe here. So we're learning a lot about how to approach this. We do have a vector. Do we have a clear... Well, let's just send it. We don't need to worry about having a clear vector. But make sure every area you go to, use a radar ping. You might wish to get some samples. I'm assuming once we fill these bars, we get more information because we're almost at the peak of, like, data gathered. Smooth boulder. This huge rock sits among layers of lichen. Could it have been thrown here during a volcanically active period in the planet's history? Perhaps, but that'll have to wait momentarily. I'd like you to get an approach vector, please. And take me this way. 
Okay, so we've started to use a mere... Oh, hey, can I ask you something? Well, what I was going to say, because I think we actually... Oh, no, we, we are on the clock. Sure, go ahead, ask me something. I've worked with AI programs before. But you aren't like them. They're predictable, programmatic, dull. Their intelligence allows them to log and process data, that's all. But you, you're different. I feel like you are alive. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, affirmative. Then you are different, I'm glad. I'm not just imagining it. But what are you? And what are you doing in this suit? And what's for dinner? We do not know. I've closed communications. Hold on, radar ping? What I was gonna say is we've learned like maybe the 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 mere basics. I, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Hold on. There's a, there's a sampleable creature here. Did it respond to radar pings? It it did appear to respond to my radar pings. We're so close, dude. Do it again. Maybe it was just a coincidence. That didn't feel coincidental. Yeah, 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 this one, this one. That might just be another agile creature, but now I'm like, I'm compelled. Because it looks the same as just the detritus. Really? It's so much harder than you would think. That's all I'm going to say in my own defense here. We're going to get it. There it is. We're not going to... Okay, you know what? We're out of here. I'm done messing around. I've used a, a very small subset of my abilities here, but I really like this game. I mean, you know, in general, I'm a sucker for games with this kind of interface-based mechanic. Um, this one is no exception so far. Ooh, reef stocks. Fungal creature, which communicates through sound and spores. An interlocking ecosystem seated on the reef. I'm in uploading my initial notes. Let's call these Let's call these reef stocks. We can classify species in the lab. You're not invited, though, because you're a robot. Oops. Long rift. Wide and long with sheer rock walls on either side. This deep rift channels unpredictable currents. This arch is covered in hardened stocks. Perhaps the slow current passing through brought their spores to settle here. Let's just keep moving. This strikes me right now as one of those games where um, there isn't really a wrong way to play. Just, you know, sit down, relax, and, and let the game give you opportunities. Ah, so when we fully scan something, anytime we come across it, it no longer asks us to scan it more in the future. I'm starting to get it. We're piecing it together mechanically bit by bit. Minute by minute by minute by minute, like that Chicago song. They're leaking spores into the water as the fruiting bodies attached to their skin bloom. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to put blooming fruiting bodies on YouTube, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. I already feel like the, the interface is just an extension of my brain now. The stocks responded to our movement. They extend it as we pass through the arch. It's like riding a bike. Like, I'm no longer like, you know, right pedal, left pedal, right pedal, left pedal. My brain is just like, my feet are the bicycle. Now my, my controller is the submarine. We must be careful not to get trapped here. The suit's power capacity is limited. True. True. Large stocks. We could be reading more of the xenobiological stuff, but... For right now, that seems unnecessary. Uh, I'll tell you. Yeah, I don't think we want to get stuck in the wall here. Look to the southwest. That stock is totally calcified. Looks like a good sample candidate. Affirmative. This stock right here. I'm assuming that's the southwest. Hold on. Scan first. Let me get a full scan on everything available here. He's done it. New species, the sing stock. Large stocks which sway, producing a distinctive hum or groan. Part of the network of stocks, which is found across the reef. I've named these sing stocks for that strange hum they produce. I wonder what its precise function is, I wonder. You think it's... Oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, oh. You know that song? Okay. Let's use our sampling. You need me to go left and right on this one?
Hmm. Maybe we need other... Hmm. No, no. Okay, you know what? Maybe we can just... Uh, drive over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need to actually move to the beacon. That makes more sense. The stock looks dead. Open up the sampling panel and we can extract some of the outer membrane. There's lots of dead material here, so we should be able to take multiple samples. You say we, but I really feel like I'm doing a lot of the work. Yo, this is such a cool and, like, chunky mechanic. I like that a lot. Okay, so the chitin appears to be hardened with calcium carbonate. That could be useful if we need to boost our power. It's all being revealed! The suit is able to metabolize organic compounds to produce fuel. Just drag them to the power panel. The suit displays how much oxygen or power each sample can produce. No point in wasting important samples. With these, we can keep one sample so we can analyze it back on the base and use the other for a power boost. Hold on. Hold on. Look at that. We're cruising. It's really neat. I was waiting to see if it was entirely atmospheric or if there was maybe a little bit more, uh, quote-unquote gamification because I don't want to say like a little bit more video game but you know what I mean when I say that I'm not saying you know something that's uh, more of a digital novel is less of a game you know from a gatekeeping standpoint but does it have more mechanics that we're used to interacting with in the gaming space and it seems like we got a little bit of resource management along with the uh, the exploration and the scientific notes and the the fire watch uh, will slowly fall in love with the the doctor here Hold on, there was another agile creature to scan. Okay, okay, I got, I gotcha. <laughs> We're like, I don't know, a fifth of the way to actually figuring out what's up with that creature. We're almost there. Okay, keep sending me into the canyon, please. I'm waiting for a big monster. Oh, uh, did you hear that? It sounded like a Street Fighter 2 character laughing at you when they beat you. Cavern Edge. A large cavern drops down into a reef here. Its entrance is shadowed by the surrounding rocks. Dead end or elevation change? Or neither. <laughs> Southern Cavern. The water is still in the yawning entrance of the cavern. There are no signs of stocks or other real life around the entrance. I mean, it might have said reef life, my mistake. Oh! We need to go lower, maybe? 21. Whoa, that's super cool. Dude, they, again. You know, I'm also a sucker for games with this kind of artful uh, presentation. I like a mechanics-driven game, don't get me wrong. This game is mechanic-rich, by the way. You might think it's atmospheric just because of the... And I mean, it's not not atmospheric. But we're using a lot of inputs to accomplish these things. That's what I mean by mechanics. It's not what a lot of people mean by mechanics when they're like, Where's the guns? But do we get guns on the submarine later? I'm just, well, I need to protect myself from hostile fauna. Potentially. Well, guns are not. It's very interesting. Um, so we've seen some of these creatures before. But we have never seen this. Tall stock. Maybe we have now that I think about it. These tall stocks seem to watch over the smaller colonies. I'll start logging notes. You do that while I do all the important stuff. Vector blocked. Vector clear. Oh, did it say sample available? We've probably been missing a ton of samples. I apologize. Okay, rotate me. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. These gaseous bubbles are intriguing. The interior gas is at an elevated pressure. If this membrane ruptured, the sac would screech as it depressurized. Is this part of the stock communication system we've seen across the reef? Wait, I have an idea. Try deploying one by that blocked tunnel over there. I want to see how the stalks react. Just drag one over. Deploy inside the line. Okay. Blocked entrance? Over here. Okay. Yikes. Oh, it got, the, it got all the stalks to go away. So now we can move through there. Well, we've already started uh, destroying the local wildlife. We can use these to get through the heavy growth ahead. Are you... We've only been here for like... I, I didn't realize the video was actually 24 minutes in. I... <laughs> we've already started destroying the, the biodiversity of the, the ecosystem. So I guess you're wondering where we are headed. That's one way to... 
That's one question that's been percolating. There's a way station just north of here on a finger of this reef. I want to find it. My shuttle touched down just hours ago at a floating research base to the south. That's where I found this suit. Going up. That's so neat. Just by using color, they give you that sense of, like, uh, changing depth. I was going to say altitude, but I must sound mad. Coming out here to a planet on the tail of Scorpius just to follow a message. Wait, you. Do you know where we are? Dude, wait, you do know where we are, don't you? Affirmative. Are you sure? I wish we could talk properly, but this suit doesn't seem able. It looks like it's been through a lot. It looks far older than Manet's base. Did she bring it with her? Look, let's find that way station. Then I can start piercing, piecing together what's going on. My brain has rendered itself incapable of reading, apparently. I apologize for that. Um, let's do these scans. And then we'll finish off the video here. Like, 25 minutes kind of flew by. At the start, I was just trying to figure out what the heck we were doing. Um, there's no samples available here. Once we got that going, and I actually really, like, to be honest with you, I appreciate those moments of, of not really understanding what's happening. Um, so you can figure it out for yourself, and then the lessons stick, I think, a little bit more uh, than if the game was just like, utilize your sample panel to do this, to do that, use the left bumper, and, you know, you get the idea. I like that feeling of, of looking at a system, and it, it can be a little frustrating when you don't come up with solutions quickly, but I really like that feeling of, of looking at uh, a system and being like, what the heck am I looking at? But then remembering that it wasn't made to be incomprehensible. It was designed to be something that you can interface with, so stop being a baby and let's do it. You know what I mean? But I think we're gonna... I, I, it's addictive. It's like just one more note. You're Sid Meiering me. Anyway. <laughs> uh, this was uh, a lot of fun, actually. Let me see if I can get back to the main menu here. I like to finish at the main menu. Um, this is a really cool, one-of-a-kind, mechanically and narrative-driven xenobiology game called In Other Waters. Aesthetically very nice. It's up there with control so far and how I like the presentation and the typography. Apart from that, very interesting. I'm having a good time with that. I know that um, sometimes these videos don't necessarily do that well because it's hit or miss, you know? Like, I, I always talk about the fact that I played this game, like, in December or January called Still There, which really affected me. I was like, this is mechanically and narratively the kind of game that I'm really interested in. Um, but it kind of got hit with the snooze button. But the people who like it, like it a lot. And if that sounds like you, if you're into games like Still There, the actual puzzle-solving parts of Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes and stuff like that, like, fidgety engineering type stuff, where it's less like, you know, what's your engineering knowledge, and more like, please interface with this panel of instruments you've never seen before in your life. If you like that stuff, I have a feeling you will love this game. So go check it out. It's available on Steam. Uh, it'll be linked in the video description below. I think it's on Switch, actually, as well, if you'd prefer to play it that way. But I'll put the Steam link in the video description below. If you like the game, you can pick it up. It's around $15. And, of course, uh, even if you're not going to pick it up right away, you can always add it to your wish list. Developers appreciate it if you want to keep an eye on what happens to the game and its pricing in the future. Apart from that, on my end, thanks for watching the video. First and foremost, click the like button if you enjoyed it. Helps me out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more cool indie games like this every single day at 9 a.m. Pacific on the channel and I'll be in the comments responding and reading. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!